What's up, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Facebook? Yo, I got a message real quick. <clears throat> Protect yourself from evil, right? Because it's a lot of foolishness going on around here. Like, for real, for real. It's crazy. <laughs> so, I just want to give y'all... Um, a little bit of information on herbs and um, different things you can use to protect yourself from evil, from evil spirits, and just for protection in general. Especially, you know, <clears throat> with everybody losing their mind nowadays, you know what I mean? So, just a few things though. A couple of them are household items, others are herbs that you might have to really go and look for. But, um, oh, and also some stones and minerals that you can use as well. Let me see. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> let me just give y'all a list of these things real quick. So, if anybody's been, you know, been feeling like bad things have been happening to you, you've been having bad luck, things ain't been kind of going your way, I'll tell you what you can do, things you can use, okay, hmm, these are some herbs, all right, ole vera, that's used for protection. All right, angelic root, excuse me, angelica root, also known as holy ghost root, archangel root, or dong kui. All right, this, this is for protection of children. All right, and it also empowers women. Okay, you have anise or anise, that's um, A-N-I-S-E. It's for protection, general good luck, luck in gambling, Increases psychic abilities and protects against evil eye. Okay. <clears throat> and um, what 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 book I'm getting this from is the Voodoo Voodoo Spell Book, right? Bam! I picked this up at Barnes and Nobles, and I love it. All right, I love this book. All right, so basil is also used for protection. You probably got some of that in your cabinet right now. So if you want to just shake some of that around your house. Like, just go around your whole house, put some basil out there or cinnamon. I just did my house with some cinnamon and some garlic. All right. <clears throat> Birch, that's B I R C H, that's used for protection. Uh, cactus, which is used for protection. All right. We got, let me see. Ta -ta -ta. Oh, cayenne pepper. This is for jinxing enemies and driving enemies away, all right? So if you got people who coming around you who you know and don't mean you no good, but they keep coming around for some reason trying to hang around, just sprinkle a little pepper on them, the cayenne pepper, you know what I mean? Get them out your way, all right? Then we got cedar, that's C-E-D-A-R. This is for protection, cleansing, blessing, health, and source of benevolent power. All right, we have chamomile. Chamomile is for general good luck, luck in gambling, protection, and removes money jinxes. So if you're having problems with money, you can use some chamomile. All right, <clears throat> cinnamon. Like I just said, I just went around my house with some cinnamon, and uh, you know, because there's been some things going on. Not nothing bad, but just. You know, a wise man sees trouble afar off and he hides himself. In this case, I'm protecting me and my family from all that BS that's going on out there. Because there's a lot of BS that's going on out there. For real. Like, niggas is losing their mind. Niggas is really losing their mind. For real. But anyway, let's go to Cypress Tree Roots. All right. Now, a lot of this stuff you can probably pick up at a botanica. I know um, 
like at grocery stores, on the aisle with the herbs and all the spices and stuff. A lot of this stuff you can't find in a grocery store. So it's not hard to get your hands on it. If you can't get your hands on it that way, just order it online, all right? <clears throat> anyway, next. Oh, excuse me, I need to read. My bad. Cypress roots. Cypress tree roots is for ancestral work. Okay, when you're dealing with your altar, when you're dealing with magic, doing magic, it's for ancestral work and it works for protection. So you want to keep yourself protected, you know, when you're dealing with magic. You always want to make sure you, you know, take a shower, wash your hands, you know, keep your environment clean and pure. You know, if you got some sage, run a little sage, get the air right, get the atmosphere right, all that good stuff. All right. Let's go on down to deal. Probably got some of that in there right now. Deal is for love, protection. It breaks love jinx, restores sexual feelings, luck in court cases. All right. Wards off illness. All right. So we definitely want to use some deal. All right. Eucalyptus is used for protection from jinxes. People put jinxes on you. They, you know, you know how you say when people, somebody might say something or speak a word or something into your life, you know, because your words have power. And you'd be like, nah, bro, don't, don't say that. You're going to jinx me. You know what I mean? Just use a little eucalyptus, you know, just for, for protection against those jinxes. Like, ah, get back. You know what I mean? Bow. For real. Hmm. And it also cast off evil, breaks bad habits. All right, so eucalyptus, you know, you probably got some of, that your, some of that in your closet. You know what I mean? Use it. All right, fennel. This is spelled F-E-N-N-E-L. It's for protection. Keeps the le excuse me, keeps the law away. All right, for protection against you know the law. All right, wards off troublesome and meddling people. I like this one. Troublesome and meddling people. Niggas that's always got trouble following them, always into something, get you some fennel. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if y'all know what Grigly bags are. I will break that down and explain it to y'all, but not in this video. This video is strictly for herbs, spices, crystals, and candles that you can burn for protection for your home, for yourself, for your family, for your children. You know, for your money, everything. All right, let's go on down to we got five finger grass. All right, five finger grass. That's what it is. All right, it's for protection, health, gaining favors, gambling luck, travelers protection. So if you're traveling, you're on a plane, you're on a boat, you're on a road trip. Little five finger grass, you know, if I just keep some with you. If you got a groovy bag, if you know how to make a groovy bag, <clears throat> you could probably just, you know, add a couple of these different spices in there, you know, tie it up real good, wear it around your neck, keep it in your car or in your travel bag or wherever, you know what I mean? Then you should be good. All right. Garlic, like I just said. Garlic is for protection and wards off evil. So, you feel like it's like a evil, like you've been having like evil presences like around your home, around your space, just like uncomfortable negative energy, like energy that just makes you makes your skin crawl. Use some garlic. You know, you could probably sprinkle a little bit on yourself around your doorstep, uh, at the edge of your yard. You know. That's what I did. All right. You got ginger. That's for fiery protection. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. Ginseng. That's used for protection. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of herbs in y'all. A lot of herbs. Those are just a few. Uh, you got like parsley. That's for protection. You got patchouli, that's for protection, which also draws love and money, all right, and uncrossing, you know. You got high john, the conqueror roots, high, 
High John the Conqueror roots. That's for love, protection, <clears throat> health, luck in gambling and games of chance brings great strength, success, personal power, and money. Okay, Ivy, that's for protection. You got Juniper, which is used for protection, uh, cleansing, healing. Um, you have Lavender, which is can be used for protection. Okay, Lilic, which can be used for protection. Lilic is L I. L-A-C. That's how you spell it. Lilic. Okay, you got lucky hand roots, which is for protection, general good luck, luck and gambling. All right. <clears throat> Magnolia leaves. It's for protection and keeps a lover faithful. So, if your man, if your woman acting up, <laughs> just give him a little magnolia leaf. All right. Keep him from acting up. You know what I mean? They'll never know what hit him. Ever. Okay. Marigold, it's for protection. Okay, mimosa, y'all like to drink the mimosas, right? But we're talking about herbs and plants here. We're not talking about a drink, okay? Mimosa is used for protection. Mint is used for protection, all right? Mint also repels enemies, uncrossing, <clears throat> enhances psychic abilities, the third eye. And wards off unwanted spirits. If you don't, if you, there's certain people that you don't want around you, that you don't want around your house, you see what I'm saying? You get some of that mint. I'm telling you, yo. All right, you got mustard seed, white mustard seed. Excuse me. It's, it's mustard seed, but it has white in parentheses. So I'm guessing you want to have white mustard seed. <clears throat> which is used for, oh, excuse me, I skipped one. Mistletoe, that's for protection from enemies, evil, and love jinxes. So, somebody trying to put a love jinx on you, you ain't never gonna find love. You ain't never gonna find the right one. Not, get out of here. Got that mistletoe, you hear it? That mistletoe, all right. But you got, okay, now back to the mustard seed. It's for protection against harm, love, Restores male sexual energy. Right, all right. General good luck wards off evil, luck and gambling. Okay. We got um, the toadstools. That's for protection from conjure. Oh, indeed. All right, we're gonna go to 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 to. to let's see what else. Like I said, patchouli. That's protection and parsley. Okay, onion. Onion is also used for protection. All right, sage. That's used for protection. Okay, now let's go to some stones and minerals. Okay. <clears throat> we got petrified wood. That's for protection and health. We have pearl. That's for protection. We have amethyst, which is for health and spiritual protection. Um, oh, excuse me. Man, I got all close to the camera. I got a little bit of amethyst right here. I have another stone in my box. I have like some more amethyst. But amethyst is one of my favorite stones. So this is for spiritual protection. Keep you some of this. All right, you got uh, it's a couple of them. Apache trees. That's A P A C H E. Excuse me, tears. Apache tears, not trees. Tears. Okay. Once again, that's A P A C H E. That's for protection. It facilitates grief and comfort. Okay, we got flint, which is for protection and health. Jade, protection and health. Jasper, protection. Lapis lazuli, protection, health and love. Malachite, protection and love. Moonstone, which I have some of that protection love. You have mother of pearl, that's for protection. Obsidian, that's for protection. All right, <clears throat> petrified wood, once again, 
that's for protection. Pearl, once again, you have <clears throat> quartz crystal, protection, blessing, peace, and health. All right, red coral, that's for protection and love. Ruby, that's for protection. And you have tiger's eye. I had some tiger's eye. A lot of my stones I gave away, but I'm going to get back on those. I got to get some more. <clears throat> Topaz, that's for protection and health. And turquoise, which is for protection and health. Do -do -do. Then it goes into some household items. Olive oil, it's for protection. Broom, you have a broom. The sweeping protection. Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's a lot, y'all. Um, it goes into like zoological ingredients like alligator teeth, bats. Like this is like when you, when you get like real deep into that magic, like for real, for real. Okay. I don't see much here for protection though. Other than the alligator teeth, which is a protective amulet. Okay. Okay, excuse me. Black dog hair. If you have a dog, it's black, you can use some of that fur. This can be used to break up a couple, bring trouble to a couple, and drive enemies away. Now, me personally, <clears throat> I don't use my magic for evil so to speak, or bad, or to bring, you know, put jinxes or anything on anyone or anything like that. Mostly what I do is like for prosperity, abundance, and money, you know, things like that. But <clears throat> we're gonna go over to the nuts and the seeds, okay? Arrowhead for protection. Black beans are used for protection. Uh, black salt is used to drive evil away, get rid of unwanted guests. <clears throat> okay, chain, C-H-I-N, like a chain, that's used for protection, but I'm, not, I'm sure they're not talking about an actual chain. Okay. Let's see, um, crosses. Oh, excuse me, it might be an actual chain because it says nuts, seeds, and other. So it might be an actual chain we're talking about here. Okay, so a cross is used for luck and spiritual protection, a crucifix, protection and blessing. Uh, Holy water, blessing, protection. Graveyard dirt for protection. Blessed with holy water. So I, you, you, I, I'm, I'm just you go, using my intuition. So it says protection. Then in parentheses beside it, it has blessed with holy water. So I'm sure that you're gonna mix this dirt with this water. Okay, and it also has some other purposes, but that ain't what we into. All right, let's see. Nails that's used for protection. Lodestones. Lodestone. That's L-O-D-E-S-T-O-N-E-S. -E -E Lodestones with fillings. Feelings, not feelings like emotions, but feelings, like F-I-L-L-I-N-G-S. That's for protection. Okay. Scapula. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Scapula. S-C-A-P-U-L-A-R. That's for protection. Rainwater. That's for protection. River water. That's for protection. And uh, vinegar can be used to drive away enemies and protection as well, okay? 
and of course you know candles I think the only candle that's really used for protection is a black candle so damn okay so there you have it that's just a little a little information for y'all I hope that y'all can use this information for your for your benefit so I'm about to be out peace ah I have some other things that I want to talk about but I ain't gonna talk about it right now but once again Hoodoo Hoodoo Spellbook. And let me say this before I go. Voodoo is not European witchcraft. Voodoo is the oldest sacred science on the planet. In the words of Professor James Small. Shout out to him. And shout out to Brother Panic. Alright. Okay, shout out to Pretty Boss TV. Okay, because I know, I know, I know it's some magic going on over there too. <laughs> so I, I know it's some magic happening over there, right? So, and just, you know, shout out to all my loved ones and all my friends, you know what I mean? Protect yourself. <clears throat> Take care of yourself. Peace. Peace, love, I'm out.